try to be fast. First of all, I want to use this opportunity to thank uh, uh, God for giving me this opportunity. Secondly, um, our FA president, Colonel Cuerco, for believing in me. Um, it was a very difficult start um, with the Nigerian matches, and uh, yeah, I will never forget this, giving me this chance. And then, <clears throat> and surely, um, my family, for having me this patience to let me do two jobs at one time, was not easy, but um, thank you for my, um, to my wonderful wife for letting me do this. And then, surely to the players who sacrificed a lot also, who did a lot, um, and I want to mention some names which were not there. So first of all, those who brought us even to the World Cup, like Bacasso, uh, Jonathan Menza, uh, Andy Yaldon, this is birthday also today, and birthday, and um, um, uh, Felix Abedajan, not to forget. They did a lot for us even to come here to this World Cup. And, uh, and then also players who were injured, unluckily, Richard Ofori, um, Baba Idrisu, uh, Giorgio Holocaust, not to forget, and um, Benjamin Tete, you all did a lot. Thank you for that. Um, we appreciate your work. We will never forget what you did for us, um, especially taking injuries and still get sometimes insulted by people who don't know you. Um, really, really bad for me to lionize, but uh, thank you. And to the game, yeah, this is football. So sometimes football is beautiful, sometimes it's really, really ugly. Today it was not ugly. Um, yeah, but there's nothing we can say about this. Um, there's no, no human being uh, in the world who hasn't missed the penalty. This is part of the football. Congratulations to the goalkeeper. It was really, really good today. We had, especially in the second half, a lot of chances. But also we have to say we had to do better in the defense and allow, allow two chances against this top class. World class fighters is uh, too, too much. And they used it straight and scored two goals. And um, yeah, we have a young squad. We have to learn out of this. And uh, I'm very, very sure this squad uh, has a bright future. Thank you, Otto. Now we start with your questions. Please wait for the microphone. The gentleman with the head, please. Uh, Ujojo, my name is uh, Daniel Wong, in Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, two quick ones you mentioned about the young squad. What are the learning lessons from uh, for them from this tournament? And uh, the second one is the numbers that have been brought on from the start of the game. It's all about the conversion of the chances, uh, the chances you had. What you know, the way forward to ensure that you know they, they are they actually turn to goals, not just goal attempts. Yeah, I think uh, first of all we have to. They have to continue. They have to believe in themselves. They have to continue. The greatest uh, footballers, also uh, sportsmen in general, and um, they are there because they have experience. And uh, experience comes from from doing things bad. I don't want to go into detail because sometimes it's just one meter left, one meter right, and a little bit better anticipation, a little bit better shot goal. So there's so many things where everybody has to improve and. Uh, and they have to still work on, on all of these things, uh, on defensive, uh, uh, defensive uh, actions, closing passing lanes, um, and they have to run timing uh, to, 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 yeah, to, to close the, the shots. And, and yeah, but also offensively, um, to be a little bit more clinical. And um, so there are a lot of things, um, I don't want to go too much into the details, but they will grow from this experience, I'm 100% sure, and they will do better next time. Lady in the middle, please. Coach, um, my name is Juliet from Ghana. Um, I want to ask you a question of this. How disappointing, first of all, um, was this for you? And what was your game plan today? And finally, are you leaving this role? Um, so, surely we are disappointed. The, the, like I said, this is the other side of football that we are so close to, to, to lead. Um, um, Maybe it's a different game, but, um, but this is football. Um, um, when I was a player, I never, I didn't like this taking penalties, so I, I really have to applaud everyone who's going there because at the end, um, people who don't know much about football would give that person the pain, which is not good at all. And, um, and for me, uh, Andrew has done a lot for the squad. He's so good, such a good character, a great leader. 
And um, if I think back, sometimes at the end, maybe I would have wished he was still in the game because maybe he would have scored because he's very clinical. But you never know, and you always, you always more intelligent after the game. And it's difficult to predict things, and um, we had to take actions. I think we're two zero down, and uh, um, this is why um, we, we, we had this action and brought in fresh players. Um, the other question was what? Your game plan and also how game you plan, yeah. control. And surely we wanted um, um, to have a good start, good ball possession, and we knew that they would press us. Um, we wanted to let the ball uh, go and pass to each other, have right positions, which we had actually. And, and from this um, um, ball possession also, um, good transition, we created this chance which led to the penalty. So I think the first 15, 20 minutes were really, really good. But then surely it does something to, to, to their minds. And um, it was 0 0, so nothing happened uh, after we missed the penalty. But defensively, um, yeah, the plan was surely not to let passes in between the lines. Let them play around us, and then um, yeah, we we allow them two two times passes um, in between us, and we were not good in the defensive transition, so they had two chances, and then they, they scored, and um, it was surely to, to close this down. We knew that they had to attack, they had to try and score, and um, if we could have um, gone with the zero into half time, they would have opened up more, and it would would have been easier for us to score a goal. Gentlemen in the front yes. And are you leaving this role? Um, yes, I, I said it before. Um, um, when I started uh, um, as an assistant coach, and it was in October last year, um, um, it was clear actually that um, I will uh, stop after the World Cup. Um, um, at the moment, uh, me and my family will see our future in uh, Germany. and. Um, uh, I like my role in Dortmund, and we are very, very happy here. So, um, from the first day, we said that our, if we qualify to the World Cup, that I will resign after that, no matter what, even if we would have been world champions. And um, so, this is uh, a decision for the family. Um, um, would take too long to, to go into detail, but uh, this is my decision. From the left side, please. Mohammed. Said this, but 
surely for me this is, I, I don't know, nobody told them what the score was. I don't know how they should know. I don't know. From the bench, nothing came. For us, it was just about to try and score. And I'm in this game for a very long time as a coach. Um, since, I don't know, this coach since more than 12 years, 13, 14 years. And I've witnessed this game also as a player. We were leading 3-0 and we lost 4-3 in the last minutes. So I know that everything can happen. And even if it's the last minutes, and you will, if you get the ball one more time, you can score, and then it's an equalizer. So um, if somebody, I don't think somebody was thinking like this, um, but me definitely not, because I know everything can happen, and even in the last minutes. Um, everybody saw in the Champions League wild, wild games when the last minutes uh, a team collected two goals or made two goals. So we all know that football is like this and everything can happen. And, uh, so we were just trying to, um, to, uh, yeah, to, to make the equalizer, which would have um, gotten us through. There are two questions about the aftermatch. I asked them about the aftermatch uh, around with the Uruguay players and the referee. So twice, second time I've asked about it and no one's answered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so... Yeah. The after-match row with the Uruguay players and the referee and yeah. with the whole thing that happened on the pitch off. I saw it, yeah. yeah. What, what should I say? To well, I know, I'm just curious as, as your opinion as, as to what you think sparked it, because... I don't know, I don't know what was going on, to be honest. So, I, there's nothing I can say, you should ask them, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who wasn't caught at the time, or they saw a foul somewhere, or, ah, yeah, but I don't know. So I don't know actually what it was about. For me, to be honest, the referee was very good. Um, um, did a good job. And also identifying a lot of things correctly. Um, yeah. So two more questions. One, we try from the virtual stadium now. Please go ahead. Sorry, I will ask uh, in Arabic. And I met him in Tunis. And I wrote up in Mulek. 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 I wrote up المنتخب الغاني وبقية المنتخبات الفارقة تقريبا لا يملكون نوعية اللاعبين الجيدة لدى المغرب لأن يعني المغرب يمكن أن نقول أنه صنع الفارق بنوعية اللاعبين مع احترامنا الشديد جدا لدعم غانا المتميزين وشكرا. First again please nobody should be in an Arab country nobody should apologize for asking in Arab no, nobody please and um, the second thing, uh, yeah, it's too easy. You know, and I know this is the job of, of, of the press and the media. And if this, if the same players would have scored, then every then the players would be good. So it's too easy for me, and I understand this because we, we are out of the tournament, we lost. But it goes sometimes could go to the players, but the same game. Um, but just maybe big ones that was a, it hit the post, maybe post inside instead of outside, and we have two one and we score two two. The same players, you, this, and you would maybe ask like, uh, how come you have such great players? You know? So for me, it's a little bit too simple. And I think um, if you see the match, that um, um, yeah, you could see that we have quality players, and, and like it was said already before, we have uh, been one of the young squad or maybe the young squad. So. So there's a lot of things to which will hopefully develop in the right direction and um, um, yeah, this is sometimes the, the difference, but like I said, it's also football is not just not um, always like tactics and players, it's sometimes it's lack of bad luck. And the last question to the gentleman in the middle. Thank you. Um, commiserations on the result, Otto. Otto. Um, there was a fan in the crowd at the beginning of the game who had a placard which said revenge for 2010. I wanted to know if it was something that you had spoken to the players about before the game, if it was something that weighed on their minds, and then also, does it hurt that little bit more that the Suarez once again, you kind of horns come up? Um, the, the, I mean, which hurt the most is that we're out. 
and it doesn't matter who it was. And um, I know that uh, probably there are a lot of people who are seeking for revenge, that, uh, but I, I don't think this way. And I told the players that they should think this way as well. I'm a strong believer that you, if you don't seek, especially in sports, for revenge, um, yeah, if you don't seek for revenge, you will need to get more blessings. I'm a strong believer of that. So we, we were not looking for that. We were trying to, to win this game. Um, and if we would, we would have been doing by um, it, we would have tried it uh, against another team. So far, it was not so important. Um, it came more from, from the outside, from the public. Plus, it was not important that it was good, but we know that they have good players. And we were actually prepared. But um, yeah, today, um, also, yeah, the lack was not on our side. But surely, still, we have to improve. Um, both of those were, we could have prevented. And um, this is where we have to 